guys. So I'm going to show you how I created the flower with the butterfly and the water effect. Now I use Affinity Photo to create, it's, it's a vector. So again, um, I don't know if I mentioned this before, if you want to do this as well, you can go to um, either Inkscape or GIMP and we'll do pretty much the same thing. Now, I'm not gonna go through the steps on how I did this. I just know I created this design or this outline and I placed it over, let me switch this up, placed this over the image, just like that. And I wanted to capture the, the more focal point area about this photo. And I thought that right there was super cute. So I cut the outline out and kept just the inside. All right, so real quick, your uh, dimensions for your project, for the printing cut and for the cheap vinyl as your stencil, you wanna make it a 3.97 in width and 7.45 in height. But remember, as I told you before, you will want to kind of shrink this down a little bit you will need to measure I, I really highly recommend that you guys measure your cups and see what dimensions you you need to size them and then use the line cuts once you get this done let me let me start over once you get your image done your focal point done then you want to size your PNG outline to fit around this okay um, and then slice it in half and, and whatnot and continue. But that'll, I'll show you more about that um, in a little bit. So make sure that you unlock this and you make it smaller so it doesn't touch each side of your tumbler. Okay. And I suggest that you print out on a regular piece of paper and make sure that is the right size for, for both sides, that it'll fit cohesively. Um, but I would suggest that you use this not to lose your shape because if you do, then obviously it's not going to work. You know, I mean, it can work, uh, but then you'll have to do this the same way as this. Okay. So use the, the, um, use your ratios perfectly even. Okay. And like I said, make sure you shrink the edge, uh, the rim areas, on the tips and make sure if you want more ombre effect <clears throat> on your cups show more glitter then you want to squeeze in your width okay but I didn't do that I wanted it quite like this closely you know very close in proximity to each other basically touching it uh, but it still came out cute so that's my thought before you see the rest of this video Hi everyone. Okay, so real quick, we're going to go ahead and uh, give you a rundown. This tutorial is going to be for Cricut and Silhouette users. I have not used Silhouette. Uh, don't know what you know it entails. I've seen previews, but I really didn't do my research on that. But you can totally do this on Silhouette, which I would love to buy a Silhouette and see how that works out uh, compared to Cricut. Cricut has some bugs and. It, it, it irks me sometimes just the just to deal with it but it's cricket um, most people select cricket um, but let's go ahead and continue anyways I'm gonna try and make this short simple straight to the point as much as possible not guaranteed though <laughs> not guaranteed all right so see the shape this is what we're going for on the cricket that shape okay um, we're gonna do some ombres later on and on another tutorial as you can see one side is a little bit more closer together on that edge than the other side is but you can't really tell honestly you really can't tell but it's beautiful it's uh it's sexy it's very sexy it's very beautiful i love it the customer absolutely fell in love with this cup 
and the bottom of this cup also I went ahead and had to add glitter on this so in the future tutorial I'll explain that a little bit more but for right now this is what I have not the very perfect cup but of course on my second go around it will be perfect and the edges on the top let me pull right there the edges on the top and the bottom I'll explain that also in this tutorial that you need to, you should shrink your cutout to be a little smaller and not touch that top so we're going to shrink that just a little bit on the edges what I did is that I made it come out to right here literally touching the rim on both sides both sides of the rims and then when I did my outline I had to overlap it because it was showing from the uh, the center was actually showing on the outer part of the outline so I had to tuck them in so make sure that you guys on the height you shrink it just a little bit and in the width if you want to shrink it and show more ombre you may do that as well so that's just a little something for you guys to learn which I didn't do on that part of the cup all right so let's go to Cricut now I have the JPEG and I have already the ping right here it's on my Facebook uh, group page and if you want this copy go straight over there it's called tumblers in the making group and you will find it under file all right so we're gonna start out with JPEG first which is the more easier uh, way of doing things if you don't if you want to use whatever design you want you may do that you can totally do that and this is why I did this cutout it's a it's a way of let's just say you want a family photo there's one particular person or two particular persons out of that photo that you just want as a focal point of your cup then this will help you do that all right so I'm gonna use my wand again I'm gonna try and make this as short as possible I promise I use 50 because I want to get close to the edges as possible I don't want anything in white in the center all right so all I have to do is cut out the center we're gonna use this as our cut all right so we did that click continue we're going to use the cut and not the printing cut we're not printing this we need it as a cut so we did that I already have it on here so let's go ahead and oops let's go back let's get my cut put that on here it's a very big file I think I brought in everything which I didn't want to do that so let's delete that let's delete this and let's focus on one thing which is this okay let's make this smaller all right so let's get an image that you want any image that you want let's say I want this insert it okay it says it's on here here it is let me shrink this down a little bit if I want to or I can bring this up and make it bigger all right we want this image to go behind our cut okay so let's drag it down to your cut now it's going to go towards the back or you can use the arrange button and it'll it'll move it uh, forward or backwards for you but I like control so I just kind of rather see it there for myself all right so the image two things if you want your focal point to be let's say this the good thing about Cricut is that it gives you your image on the outline of your image sorry um, so you can see it behind your cutout so your picture is going to be where you want it there's two ways of doing this um, one of them is an easy way the other way is not an easy way it's a little bit more work and I'll tell you what I mean by that in just a minute it's a little hard to explain okay so you have that let's say you got your image that's the way you want it you can make it big you can make it small as long as you have what you want in that center okay 
I want to cover up that white. Actually, let me get the American flag. There we go. Okay, so you can highlight both of these by either dragging it, so both are highlighted, as you can see right here, or you can manually do it by clicking on the first one and holding down shift on your keyboard and clicking the next one, uh, the next photo, and then slice it, okay? There you go. That's what you want, and then I just get rid of this. There you go. Wasn't that easy? Absolutely, very easy. That's why I made it easy for you. All right, so the next one is a little bit more difficult. Let's say your image has uh, only one person that you want. You want to just focus on that person. That's Remember, we're doing your focal point. Um, you want just the stars on here, okay? So I got all this excess that's on the outer part of your cutout. This is the tricky part. This is the part that's not going to come out easy and only just your main focal point. It's going to keep this with it, and I'll show you why. And if I didn't tell you before, if you shrink this and keep it within the box, it'll definitely cut just the center of it. But if you leave your picture and leave it on the outskirts of your cutout, then all this plus your cutout plus the top is going to end up staying there except for whatever's in the black. That'll go away. So I'll show you now. Highlight those and slice. Okay. So remove that. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. And now we have all this. Let's get rid of this because my focal point is right here, right? Okay. All we need to do for that little extra work is just grab a shape, preferably a square, and you want to highlight both of them. Or you could do it from right here. Right here remember that. And slice it. Okay, there you go. It's separated. It, it's gone. Goodbye. All right, next one. We're going to do another square. We're going to unlock it and we're going to stretch it out however you want to. I didn't have to go that big, but I did. Select both and slice. And it separated it. So now you have one free uh, uh, focal point then I can get rid of this. All right, so this is now what you have. You can use any image you want. So that's that's one of the uh, shortcuts for that. Now I'm gonna show you something else. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do the PNG now. All right, so let's go ahead and get our PNG out. Again, it will be in my Facebook group. Let me shrink this down a bit so that you guys can see it. All right. All right, so we need to do our outline. Now, I have to go through steps on this, so this might be a little bit longer. Um, first thing first, let's go ahead and cut this in half. Okay, we need to slice this in half. A lot of people were asking, how did you manage to do the outline um, so perfectly? And that's because I did this. I had to cut it in half. That's the trick. All right, so I need to get close enough to where I can see the center or possibly the center. All right, so I think I did that. Let me go ahead and just drag this and it'll highlight both, okay? and then slice. There you go. All right, or you can grab the first one, hit the shift key on your keyboard and hit the next one and slice, okay? It's gonna have a few pieces. <laughs> All right, there we go. I want my black. I prefer my black, but you don't have to. You can actually, you can use these if you wanted to, but then you gotta change the color just to put it under one mat, or cut under one mat. All right, so that's sliced real quick. Let's say there is a, let me go back. Let's say you accidentally kinda went over just slightly, okay? Let me 
slice that as a demonstration. See that right there? We can take care of that. That's not a big deal. Okay. Um, let's put this away for a moment. This we won't need. So let's go ahead and flip this over. Use this side instead of bringing a new one up on the shape and overlap it right there. See that? It's overlapping. Let me zoom in so you can see right there. Boom. All right. You want this, well, that's way too much. Just a little smidge. Oh my gosh. Cricut needs to fix the shifting part. All right, so uh, let's move this further away. Let's go ahead and minimize this so you guys can see. And I'm going to highlight it. Drag and highlight and slice, okay? And then it slices those corners, the corner pieces that did not come out so straight. So you could do that as well. Let me zoom in so you can see the cut right there, boom. And here's the little pieces that I did not like. That wasn't perfectly straight. All right, so let's go ahead and zoom back out or put it to perfect normal size. All right, so we're done with this. We don't need this anymore. We obviously don't need these little pieces either. I'm just gonna come over here and do that. And I have both sides, okay? I'm gonna get rid of this because I wanna keep my focus on the main. We are going to duplicate this three times on one side and duplicate this twice on the other side, all right? And the reason why is because you have two of your designs on both sides of the cup, right? So here's one and then here's the other. Now you're asking, why is it that I have a third one? What's the third one for? The third one is actually for accidents. It's gonna happen, it possibly might. Hopefully on your first try, you don't need to. I did that with one of them, I just did it the first time and it, it was fine. A little slight difficulties, but I, I ended up getting it. So you will or might have mistakes. So you want a backup and this is your backup right here. Now, why did I cut it? Like I said before, um, it was easier to place on there. But the another reason, and I wasn't even thinking about placing it on my cup perfectly, it was more because I wanted to say vinyl. <laughs> I, I like, I saw the first cut that I did and it wasted so much vinyl. I was so upset, <laughs> I was so upset. Um, so this was gonna be my holographic outline. <laughs> so it literally cut it like this and this whole center right in here, um, what needed to be thrown out. I was so upset. Um, so I came up with cutting it in half to place it on the tumbler. You don't have to do this, but I preferred it and it was actually easier to place on the tumbler. So now that we have six cuts, we're going to pretend to go ahead and make these. Let me shrink these a bit. Oh, and you don't have to shrink it the way I do it, like all this. You can actually use this. As long as this is locked, the ratio, and then you click down on either one of these two and it'll shrink them all at the same size and it won't lose its its shape. But if I do this, unlock it and move it, you're messing with the shape. So you don't wanna do that, okay? Let me go back. All right, so let's go ahead and click make it. Now it's under all in one mat. If it's not all in one mat, it's either too big or the colors are different. So you'll need to, let's go back, highlight it, all of them, and click this little color um, palette here and just change the color if you want, as long as they're all like that. If you don't do that and you click one, one of them comes out, let's say gray, then you know what's gonna happen. You're gonna have two separate mats. That means two separate cuts, okay? So make sure that you guys keep it all one color. All right, so, and you can color it anything you want because your it depends on what you're gonna use for your vinyl. That's all that matters. 
The color is, I guess, just to make it stand out. So you know if it's one straight color, then you know that color is what you're gonna use for that particular thing. Now, I'm going to rotate these three right here, okay? I'm gonna rotate it and rotate this, all three of these. And I'm going to move these over. If I want it super close, I may do that. I might end up having the lines in between them that I can use for something else, who knows? And then put these right here. Now these are close to the same as the opposite end, but I, I still like to make sure that it's separate. So when you, when you actually cut them, think of your three that goes to the right and think of the other three that goes to the left. Okay, keep that in mind just in case your shape is slightly different, but it shouldn't if you're doing it this way. All right, so it looks pretty similar. Let me keep that separate and then that's it. Look at all this space that I have extra on my vinyl. That is the purpose of that, that, whole, that whole cut and cutting it in half. So you're welcome. All right, so um, now we're done with that. We're gonna go ahead and talk about making it a little bit more thicker if this is too thin for you. Okay, so let's say you want to go ahead and make it a, a bit thicker, okay? Um, let me grab my, where's my JPEG? This is my JPEG. Um, I cut out the center, that's right. I cut out the center of my JPEG. All right, let me bring out my project. Replace. All right, so here we go. I actually don't need this, I need this. All right, let's go ahead and transform my cut of my uh, focal point to, um, to no fill, okay? That means it's, it's not going to be cut. It's not gonna be printed cut. So let's duplicate this and center it really, really well. All right, I want my border, my outline to be thicker, okay? This is the part of this video here, this section of the video. Oh, what am I doing? Let me go back. All right, so they're both perfectly aligned. This right here is a big key to making it smaller. So make sure that you shrink it and place it just by eyeing it on the center here, like that, all right? Shrink it a little more, placing it directly centered, just like that. I think I want my outline to be a little bit more thicker. And there we go. Now, if I would have remember, um, which I've told you, if you unlock it, then it, it'll go either from height to width. It'll pick one of those. Uh, but I wanna keep them both the same shape. The only issue is that you're gonna have to eye it to get it in the center of this. So then you take these two shapes, make sure you highlight it or just drag it and highlight them and slice it. And there, you here you go, here's your thicker right there. Okay, let's do a comparison to the JPEG. And see how thick it is compared to thin. And then I'm gonna show you another way that you can also make this a little thicker. All right, so this is the outline for this. I had this image for a different outline but there you go, all right? That's, look at the thinness of the line. That's how you can make it thick, okay? All right, so let's say, let's say, okay, let's get rid of this. Let's focus on how to make things a little easier here. Let's duplicate your outline twice, okay? You can overlap these. 
overlap them. You can either shrink it or make it go a little wider. Yeah, let's go wider. Like that. Center it. Close to perfect. And make sure you highlight it this way or highlight it this way. And you want to wield it. And there you go. And that's how you make it thicker. Okay, so there's two ways of doing this. I hope this helps. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions on how to do uh, certain things um, and you're still not getting it, just drop me a comment. I'll be glad to go ahead and answer it. And if you want, you can go straight to my Facebook page and I can answer it there as well, uh, whichever you prefer. But um, stay tuned for a part two and then we'll go straight to the cups uh, or to the tumbler that I was doing this with. Um, it was a one time go, so stay tuned. It's coming up. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and be up to date for more future videos.